हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट फिफ्थ मेरिकल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन चैप्टर सो लेट अस रीड द स्टेटमेंट अ सपोर्ट ब्लॉक इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय टू फोर्सेस एज शोन नोइंग दैट द कोफिशेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ब्लॉक एंड द इंक्लाइन आर म्यू एस इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट थ्री फाइव एंड म्यू के इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट टू फाइव डिटर्मिन द फोर्स पी रिक्वायर्ड देर आर थ्री पार्ट्स गिवन फर्स्ट पार्ट इज टू स्टार्ट द ब्लॉक moving up the incline b part is to keep it moving up c part is to prevent it from sliding down so first of all we will solve a part means we have to find the force p required to start the block moving up the incline so this particular diagram is given to us we are given inclined surface the angle of inclination with the horizontal is 25 degrees and on that surface one block is placed and on that block two levers are shown and uh, on one lever uh, its weight is shown in downward direction that is 800 newton and another lever is there which is in horizontal direction and on that lever a push of p is applied which we have to find so first step is that we should draw the free body of the given problem so in order to draw the free body what we will do we will do we will draw the inclined surface and we will show the angle of inclination also 25 degrees on that surface we will draw the block and uh, this point is labeled on the block so what next we will do we will first of all place the weight of the block in the free body so we will place the weight in vertical downward direction at this particular point this is the point of application shown to us in the diagram so at that point we have shown its weight acting in downward direction so weight is 800 newton then after that we should place the normal pressure so normal pressure always acts at 90 degrees to the inclined surface so this is the normal pressure acting in this particular problem after this we should show this particular force and point of application is same so what i will do instead of drawing that vector at this point of application i will show here so that free body should be uh, easy to understand because we are using actually law of transmissibility so line of action is same so on that line of action you can show uh, the vector uh, force vector anywhere so there will be no issue so this is the point of application but in order to make the free body simple i have shown this force at this particular point fine so let us label this as p so apart from these three forces next we have to talk about the frictional force now let us see what we have to find in a part he says to start it means right now the block is at rest to start the block moving up the incline so we have to start its motion in upward direction it means friction force will act in downward direction so let us label that force in downward direction so we have labeled frictional force as well so what is the next step we should consider the axis along the incline we will consider x axis along the incline and normal to incline or perpendicular to incline we will consider y axis now after that what we will do we will resolve these forces along x direction and y direction frictional force is already acting along x direction so no need to resolve it normal pressure is acting along y direction no need to resolve this also but let us talk about this force now this force is acting at some angle to x direction and y direction it means we need to resolve this force into two components one along x direction second will be along y direction so let us say this is the point of application from this point we will show one axis or one component along x axis or along the incline and from that point we will show another component which will be along y axis or perpendicular to the inclined surface arrow head is pointing towards the point of application so in these two components also we will show arrow heads towards point of application now by geometry if this angle is 25 degrees this angle will also be 25 degrees so this will become cos component this will be sin component so let us call this as p cos 25 degrees and this will be called as p sin 25 degrees 
Now let us talk about this particular force. This force is also inclined to x axis and y axis. It means we need to resolve it into its components. So this is the point of application shown. From that point of application we will draw first component along y axis or perpendicular to inclined surface and from the same point of application we will draw second component along x axis or along the surface. Arrowhead is pointing towards the point of application so on these components also arrowheads will be towards the point of application. Now by geometry this angle is 25 degrees. If this is 25 this will be 25 so this will be cos component and this will be sine component. So let us label this component as 800 cos 25 degrees and this component will become 800 sine 25 degrees. Now we are ready with the free body of this particular problem. Now let us solve a part. So what he is saying in a part to start the block moving up the incline. So first of all we have to think about the situation. He says to start the block it means the block is at rest. To start the block means motion is impending. It means summation fx and summation fy equal to zero are applicable to the first situation. As motion is impending that means just about to start. So let us first apply equation summation fx is equal to zero. So how many forces are acting along x direction? 800 sine 25 acting towards right we will consider this as positive frictional force acting towards right we will consider this also positive p cos 25 acting in opposite direction in uh, left direction we will take this as negative so our equation will become 800 sine 25 degrees plus f minus p cos 25 degrees equal to 0 now we will convert this particular f we will replace it by mu s n why we are using mu s because he is saying to start that means just about to start so we will use coefficient of static friction so it is the case of motion is impending so we will write mu s n minus p cos 25 degrees equal to 0 now in this particular equation we have two variables normal pressure and p mu s is given to us in the statement that is 0.35 so there is one equation there are two variables so we can't solve let us call this equation as equation number one now after this what we will do we will use the second equation summation of y equal to zero so how many y direction forces 800 cos 25 acting in downward direction this will be negative P sin 25 acting in downward direction this will also be negative and is acting in upward direction this will be positive so equation will become n minus 800 cos 25 degrees minus P sin 25 degrees equal to 0 so from here we will get value of n in terms of P so n will be equal to 800 cos 25 plus P sine 25 so now we will say put this value of n in equation 1 put value of n in equation 1 now when you will put this value in equation 1 this whole equation will be in terms of p only because we know the value of mu s that is 0.35 so the when you will put this value in equation 1 and when you will put mu s is equal to 0.35 you will be able to calculate P. So let me directly write that value. So you will get P as 780 newtons. So this is the answer of A part. Now let us solve B part. What he says in B part? To keep it moving up. That means how much force P we require in order to keep the motion of the block in our direction we have to keep it moving up the incline it means now the block is not at rest it is already moving but it is moving in our direction so still friction will act in downward direction so same free body will be used for B part as well but what will be the change the change will be that now 
the block we have to keep the block moving up the incline so still we can use these two equations but now we have to replace mu k mu s by mu k because situation is determine the force p required to keep it moving up fine so how much force we require in order to keep it moving up fine so we will use same equations for b part as well but in these equations the only change will be that we will replace mu s by mu k because we have to keep it moving up it means we have to use coefficient of kinetic friction mu k in place of mu s in these equations so again we will say summation fx is equal to zero so when you will use this equation you will get this particular equation so let me write the same equation again but we will use mu k in place of mu s so plus mu k n minus p cos 25 degrees equal to 0 then again we will apply the second equation as it is so same value you will get from second equation n is equal to 800 cos 25 plus p sine 25 so let us call this equation number 2 then again you will say put value of n in equation 2 and you will be able to solve for p so when you will solve this you will get answer for p as 649 newtons because mu k value is given to us as 0.25 so what we have learned in the b part same free body will be applicable because still the block is moving in our direction so friction will act in downward direction but what is the change in the b part we have to find p which is required to keep it moving up so we can't use mu s in place of mu s we have to use kinetic coefficient of friction that's it now let us solve c part so what he says in c part he says determine the force p required to prevent it from sliding down now this time the block is the tendency of the block is to move down and we have to find p how much p i should apply so that it should not slide down so for c part everything will remain same in the free body but friction force will act in upward direction this will be the only change everything else all the forces will remain same but as he is saying to prevent it from sliding down that tendency of the block is to move down in c part so in c part friction force will act in upward direction it means again we will use these two equations but what will be the change only change will be in place of positive sign for f we will use negative sign because now in case of c part friction will act in upward direction so it is acting towards left so we have to consider this as negative so again i am applying these two equations i will say summation fx is equal to zero for c part so same equation is applicable but what is the change we will write 800 sine 25 in place of plus we will use minus and he is saying to prevent it from sliding down so this is a condition of motion is impending just about to start so we can't use mu k we have to use mu s coefficient of static friction so in place of plus minus mu s n minus p cos 25 degrees equal to 0 so call this equation number 3 now use the second equation summation f y equal to 0 so you will get this value n is equal to 800 cos 25 plus p sin 25 equal to 0 then we will say put value of n in equation number 3 so you will get value of p because mu s is known to us as 0.35 so in this case you will get value of p as 80 newtons so let me revise this problem in this problem we are dealing with three different motions in the first case he is asking us determine the force required p force p required to start the block moving up the incline whenever we get this word to start that means motion is impending 
so we can apply summation fx is equal to zero summation fy equal to zero as motion is impending so we'll use coefficient of static friction in the b part he says to keep it moving up then how much force we require in order to keep it moving up so same free body will be used for b but the only change will be as we are talking about the motion of the block to keep it moving up so in place of mu s we have used mu k coefficient of kinetic friction then the third part he says to prevent it from sliding down now to prevent it from sliding down so it, it is a case of motion is impending again summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero is applicable but this time the tendency of the block is to slide down so for c part the only change in the free body will be that frictional force will act in upward direction so what will be the change in the equations that when you will apply summation fx equal to zero in place of positive f we have to consider negative f and of course this is a case of third case is of motion is impending so we will use mu s i hope this particular numerical is clear to you thank you very much